What's going on guys? Today you can't go wrong by learning your song by Elton John. This one's a fun song, so let's get into it. If you're a complete beginner, you're gonna wanna start by checking out my free beginner course. I'm gonna walk you through the basics and then you can come back to this video after that. There are a few little tricky chords in this song, but for everybody else, let's get right into it. Okay, so this part here is all of the verses. What you can hear here is we've got one strumming pattern that we're playing through the entire thing, but the tricky part is that we have a ton of different chords. So it's gonna make it way easier if to memorize them, you check out the lyrics with chords on top of them in the description below this video. Follow along with that, it's gonna be way easier than if you just try and listen to me. All right, so our strumming pattern starting on a D is gonna be. So down, down, up. Up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. So we're playing that strumming pattern once on each chord before switching. We've got four sets of four chords. So to start off, our first four are going to be D, G, A, and F sharp minor. So that first section. That's the first four. I'm gonna go through these relatively quickly, but the second section is where the important notable part is. We've got a B minor to a B minor slash A. And then we've got a little bit of a weird fingering, but for a B minor slash G sharp. And with that one, you don't want this fifth string to ring out. You're going to mute that. It's probably going to happen naturally just by putting your finger there. But that's what your chord is going to be like. And then you're switching to a G major 7. So this is the weirdest section. If you can get this part, then the rest of it will be a breeze. So that part together. So that's that four. Now we're up to eight chords. Our next four are gonna be D, A, F sharp, and B minor. And you get the idea by now, it's just played on that same strumming pattern on each chord. And then moving into our last four chords, we've got D, E minor 7, G, and the only other notable point is that you're going to play this A for two repetitions of the strumming pattern. So this last segment is... And right there is the entire verse. I know I went through that kind of quickly, but honestly, just follow along with the chords and lyrics in the description below. It's going to make it way easier to make sense of this. The strumming pattern is simple. It's just changing on 16 different chords. That's the tricky part. So to play the full verse, you're going to play that entire 16 chord progression twice. Only thing that's different is that on the second repetition, those two A chords at the very end turn into two D chords. So instead of playing A, You're just going to play D. And that's all there is to it. So one super ridiculously long chord progression and a single strumming pattern, and that's the entire verse. So now I'll play the entire thing again for you so you can follow along.
I'm just going to play one repetition, but you can get the idea that the full verse is that played twice, just again changing that D at the end instead of the A. Okay, so moving into the chorus, here's what we've got. There's your full chorus. So you can see this one's very similar in the structure to the verses. This is just a little bit simpler. We've got a few less chords and we've already learned the tough part from this. So our first four chords are gonna be A, B minor, E minor seven, and G. Again, we're just playing our same strumming pattern from the verse, and we're playing each chord for one repetition of the strumming pattern before moving on. So you're gonna play those four chords, and you're gonna play that twice. So it's gonna go A, B minor, E minor seven, G, and then A, B minor, E minor seven, G. So then after that, the next four chords are gonna be this annoying run that we've got here with the B minor to the B minor slash A, and then this really annoying B minor slash G sharp. We've already played those three chords, and then this time we're just gonna switch it up and play a G6 at the end. Which is just like a G, except we're taking off this string so that we get that sixth note, which is the E. So we've got B minor, B minor slash A, B minor slash G sharp, to a G6. So those are the next four chords, and well, they're all played on the same strumming pattern except that G6, which is going to be held for four beats. So that part is... And then the next four chords are going to be D, E minor, G, and A. So the D, E minor, and G are all gonna be held for four beats, just a single strum on each, and then the A is back to our strumming pattern, and we're playing that twice. So that section is gonna be. Pretty simple, it's just a bit tricky to wrap your head around. And again, just like the verse, the trickiest part of this is gonna be just memorizing the chords, but follow along with the chords and lyrics in the description below. That's gonna help you out way more and just play it a bunch of times, memorize the chords. And by the time you've got the chords memorized, it'll be effortless to play. Okay, that's gonna lead us to the final and easiest part of the song, which is the part played in the intro, the break, and the outro. And this is gonna be really easy to learn compared to the other parts. All it is is D, G, A, and G on our strumming pattern. That's it. So this entire section is just this. That's all there is to it. So you can play this part in the intro, outro, and the break. And if you can play those three parts, you can play the entire song. And if you can play that, you can play this entire song. Thanks for watching. Please hit that thumbs up button and let me know what you thought of this video in the comments below. It really does make a difference. Also make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can hear about all the new videos I post and you can learn lots of cool guitar stuff. Thanks a lot and I'll see you in the next video.